Hello once again YouTubers and welcome to part 7 on how to create your own Android launcher slash home screen application. In this part we are going to get into um, actually being, being able to move the icons onto the home screen. So I'm going to hold down on the Chrome application. So I just held down, I long pressed on it and as you can see it has moved to the home screen. Um, what is not working yet is whenever you click it, it launches. So that is not going to be in this video or in this part. And as well as dragging on the home screen. So all it is going to do is move the icon onto the home screen. But in later videos, we are going to get into moving and saving things in that nature. Also, I want to make a quick note. To any of y'all interested, I have been putting a lot of work into my launcher called Lucid Launcher, which is on the Play Store. I've been putting a lot of work into it recently, um, getting widgets working and a built-in web browser and drag and drop and grid and things like that. So. If anyone is interested, it is on the Play Store, it's called Lucid Launcher, and it is free. Alright guys, let's get started with part 7. So, in your package, we're going to make a new class, so right click and click on New Class. Um, what we're going to have to do is make an on item long click listener. Um, we made an on item click listener um, in order to make it so you can launch the application in the grid view but now we're going to need a long click listener in order to make it so we can um, move it onto the home screen so we can just call this drawer long click listener and click finish now instead of implementing on item click listener, we'll implement on item long click listener. So implement on item long click listener. And then um, we need to add the unimplemented method, so go over the error and click add unimplemented methods. And this is the method that we're going to use, but then we're also going to have to um, pass a few things into the long click listener. So what we can do is just create a public drawer long click listener and this is where we can uh, get the things that we pass in. So we are going to have to pass in a few things. We need context from the main activity. So context ctxt. We're also going to need the uh, slider drawer as a whole or, or the view in order that we can close the drawer whenever we have long clicked. So slide in drawer and we can just call it sliding drawer. Right. And the reason why this is um, crossed out with the yellow, it's because it's technically depreciated. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, it, it it makes it simpler to use this. And if you don't know what depreciated means, it basically means that they're going to try to phase out using it but it's still going to work so we're also going to have to pass in the layout that's holding everything and we can call this the the home layout so relative layout and let me show you what I'm talking about real quick and the res layout in our activity main, I'm going to double click on it in order to open it. 
And you can see the relative layout is what's holding everything. And what we're going to do is make it so we can add the apps into the relative layout. Um, but we will need to add an ID to this. So since this is open, let's just do that right now. So Android ID equals at plus ID slash we can call we can call this um let's say home underscore view so now we have that view right there and let's save this now go back into the drawer long click listener and let's finish this up so we can call this home view for what we are passing in and that's all we're going to have to pass in for now. So click Control Shift O if you need to import anything. And then we can make a few variables that we're going to use for the things that are going to be passed in. So sliding drawer. This is going to be the sliding drawer that we're going to pass in. So we can call it drawer. And in order to keep the scheme of all the other files, classes that we've worked with, um, we can say, we can just call it drawer or adapter. And then for the home, home view, we're going to make a relative layout and we can call it home view for adapter and finally we are going to need the context so I'm just going to put that at the top so context and we can call it m context to follow the other files that we've done to make it a similar scheme and then finally we can make it equal to the things that we are passing in. So m context equals ctxt, which is what's being passed in. And then drawer for adapter equals the sliding drawer. And then finally we have home view for adapter. Um, equal that to home view. Now before we write the code in the on item long click uh, method, let's set uh, the on item long click listener to the grid view and that way we can pass in these um, variables. So inside of main activity and under the set packs method, we already have the drawer grid dot set on item click listener, but now we need a drawer grid dot set on item long click listener. And the listener that we created is drawer long click listener, so new drawer long click listener. And these are the things that we are going to need to pass in. So the first thing is context. So um, the context would just be this. Um, the sliding drawer and the home view we have not created yet. So underneath the grid view we can make a sliding drawer and we can just call it sliding drawer. And then we will also have the actual home view, which would be the relative layout that we have called home underscore view. So create a relative layout and call it home view. And then we can click Control Shift O if you need to import anything. And now we need to actually set these to the ID in the XML. So, down underneath, 
drawer grid, we can set sliding drawer. So sliding drawer equals cast to sliding drawer. And then find view by ID. And the sliding drawer, if you look in main, we just called it drawer. So r.id.drawer. Now we have to set the home view, which is the relative layout. So a home view equals cast to relative layout and find view by id r dot id dot home underscore view because that is what we named it and now these are the uh, named the exact same as what we are passing in so you can see we do not need to change the values of this change the names that are being passed in so now we have the on item long click listener being set up and the values are passed in. Now let's start with the actual on item long click method. So go into your drawer long click listener class and in on item long click we are going to start writing code in there. So what we're going to need to do we can't just add this item onto the home view because that is just going to give us an error. So what we're going to need to do is inflate the drawer item and get the image from the item as well as the text from the item and set it to that inflated view. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is get the width and height and the x and y location. In, and we'll put that into um, layout parameters. So type in layout params and we can just call them LP equals new layout params and now it's going now it's asking for X and Y or width and height so item dot get width and item dot get height and now we are going to set the x and y location we can do this by saying lp dot left margin and lp dot top margin so lp dot left margin equals we're going to have to cast this to an int because it's a float item dot get x and then lp dot top margin equals cast to int and then item dot get y so now we have the width and height and the x and y location all inside of layout parameters now we're going to have to inflate the drawer item dot xml um, that we made in an earlier video. So we inflated this by earlier in a different video in drawer adapter. So I'm just going to open that up and I'm going to copy the layout inflator um, code so so that we don't have to rewrite that. So copy and then paste that the layout inflator and then we are going to have to make a linear layout um, to equal it to the drawer item. So linear layout. And we can just call this LL. And we can equal it to the inflator, LI, dot inflate. And it's asking for the resource and root. Resource is R dot layout dot drawer item and root we can just set to null because we're not using 